How to rob the oil rig like a pro. If you do find this video helpful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below, but let's just get straight into it. To rob this, all you're going to need is a few weapons, preferably a keycard and preferably somebody else with you. My recommendation is the AK-47 shotgun and pistol. And obviously, if you've got your own weapon combo, feel free to use that. You need to have a keycard because some of the rooms inside are locked, which means you won't get as much cash as you could if you had one. Same for the amount of people. If you have two people, you can open an extra room where you can get even more cash. Then to get over there, you're going to need one of the three boats. I'd recommend just getting the jet ski if you're on your own. It's faster than the cruiser. It's only 25k. It's nothing to worry about. If you're in a big crew, I would recommend getting this. But if you don't particularly want a boat, though, that's okay. Because you can, in fact, use the DeLorean. So if you've already bought this, even though it is 175,000 cash, you can just simply drive right over the water over to the oil rig. So you don't even need a boat. So let's talk about how to start it then. You need to climb up this ladder, well one of the two ladders, doesn't matter which one. And bandits will come at you as soon as you place your first TNT. Throughout the entire robbery there's going to be plenty of opportunities to place these down. It does not matter, the only reason you should is if you want to know how much time you've got left. Because as I show you now, it has a timer on it. Okay here we go, so as soon as you place the first one down you're going to get shot at by lots of bandits. The more people you have the easier this will be. As you can see, just above the door, there is a counter saying how many more there are left to spawn. You know, I'd recommend if you're on your own, just stay on this side. Then the shotgun guys won't get you. Just keep reloading in between spawns. Have good aim. If they're coming at you a lot, use the pistol instead of reloading. It's a lot quicker. But if you have basic skill of this game, you should have no problem. Be careful. Don't let them shoot these barrels because they do explode and deal damage. Once you've done that, you want to come inside this room over here and pull the lever. That'll open the door so you can travel into the building. Then there'll be a guy up in this corridor over here. You just want to not get shot by him. There's only one. This is the door that you need a keycard for. So you can open that. Place the TNT over here so you can keep an eye on the time. And then start collecting oil. You just need to stand next to the tanker. And it'll soon be added to your bag. From this, you can get 1,300 cash. And as you can see, we have three and a half minutes left. Make sure you're fully reloaded. Can get a donut from this machine over here. And then you want to head upstairs. There's nobody up here yet. But then you're going to open this door. It's just like the power plant puzzle. You should know how to do that. And then as soon as you open that door, there are a few guys in there that are going to kill you. There should be three of them. I've been a bit stupid in the past and have died to these. But it's not difficult. There's another guy here. There we go. Just keep jumping and you're fine. Then you want to come in here and start collecting. Once again, you can place TNT to see where you're up to time-wise. I have 2 minutes 40 seconds. At this point, I'm now bringing my alt account in. No bandits will spawn where you've previously been. Once you've killed them, that's it. So as you can see, I've now kicked these over here. So I'm moving forward. I'm going to go down here. My alt account's going to pull that. I'm going to pull this at the same time, and the door will open. There's a guy in there. Watch out. Don't die. There's a couple, actually. The second player can die now. It's fine. You don't need them anymore. Still another guy. You can look on the minimap to see if there's any more bandits. There is another one somewhere. I think he's just on the roof. You can escape from this door over here, but I wouldn't recommend doing it. You've only got half cash. Pull that lever to come into this room over here with a few lasers moving about. You know, have basic hobby skills and you're fine. You can jump across this. Keep jumping across. Don't get hit. Place a TNT. And then you can start collecting more cash. We've got a minute and 30 left. There are three tankers over here, and this will bring you to your full 8k cash. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. What you need to do, if you do fall, you can come up that ramp, but I mean, it's not difficult. You shouldn't fall unless you're on mobile. There's a key card in here. If you haven't got it, 100% grab that. Then you want to come back the way you came, get out of this room. Then you can escape on this balcony over here. There's a jet ski, which you can take. It will drop down to the ground and you can, and you can sail away. But I'm going to go this way instead. If you come back inside, go straight ahead. There's a guy inside of here. You can open the door. I think you need a key card for that. But there's a guy. You can kill him. And then disable security on here, on this computer. Open the door. I've got 40 seconds, so I've really got to rush. There'll be a guy on the roof over here. There you go. Just kill him. And then you can escape with the helicopter. How is he not dead? So I'm really low, and I'm about to run out of time, so I'm not going to escape on the helicopter. I'm just going to parachute down to the ground, and I'm going to get on this boat now. I'm going to drive away on the boat, because be aware, the helicopter on the roof, you do need to hijack. And there you go. See, I had about five seconds and then I would have been killed. So it was definitely a good idea not to get the helicopter. But by disabling security inside of the rig, your helicopter would not get shot down. And then to finish off, all you got to do, you can sail or drive over to the cargo port over here, just like the plane and the ship. And this big new boat over here, you can drop off your money and get the 8k cash. 
It does not give a hyperchrome, but it does give a bonus robbery roll. And there you go. I just got 3k cash. Brilliant. And that is how to rob the oil rig. A handy bit of information to know, you do not have to worry at all about the oil running out. Its usage is client-sided, which basically means it's different for every single player. If you use up all of the oil, it's not used up for the next player. As many people can come and take the oil as they want, as long as it's within the time. Which is much better than like the tomb or the museum, which can run out fast. So leave a comment down below with any questions you may have. I think this is honestly a really easy robbery, especially for 8k cash. If you're with a crew, you know, even just one extra person, the bandits are so easy to kill. As long as you're not being really slow or trying to commentate like me, there's no risk at all with the timer. Honestly, this is probably my favourite robbery now. It's really fun, engaging, and it's a bit more interesting because you're using skills that you've used in the old robberies, you know, obbies, but you're also fighting NPCs like you do in the mansion. It kind of brings them all together, which I really like. Like, comment, and subscribe down below if you did enjoy or found it helpful. I'll see you all in the next one.